For the mountain biker that likes to challenge themselves, I've made a list of what I think are the top five bucket list events that everyone should consider trying. One of the craziest races out there and something I think you've got to try once is the Mega, a mass start race high on the Peak Blanc Glacier above Alpe d'Huez in France at 3,300 meters of elevation. The starts can be carnage. Battling with hundreds of other racers down the super fast start in the snow before hitting the open rock sections and endless single track. The atmosphere is electric with riders everywhere, Euro dance music pumping, helicopters buzzing overhead. It feels like you're racing from the top of the world to the bottom. The top riders complete the 30 kilometer long 2000 meter descent in about 38 minutes. The snow conditions at start change from year to year, but in good conditions, top riders can reach over 70 miles an hour. Riders reach the bottom completely spent from exertion and adrenaline, but spend the next few hours retelling the crazy stories. The Absa Cape Epic has been challenging riders since 2004 and has become a highlight of the race calendar for many of the top riders and has even been described as a Tour de France for mountain bikes. Teams of two take on the prologue and seven days of racing over around 700 kilometers and 13,000 meters of climbing over the Western Cape of South Africa and the course is redesigned each year. Every year we see the amazing photos of helicopters following a long trail of racers going hell for leather through the incredible open African landscapes. The results sheets have been filled by cross country legends like Nino Schurter, Christoph Sauser, Burry Stander, Ariane Luti, and Anke Langva. But the race is made up of hundreds of inspired amateurs who want to test themselves against the best in the world in the rugged mixed terrain. It's a popular race, 600 teams take part, but you'll need to take part in a lottery to get a place. The Tour Divide. For the ultra endurance athletes, this has to be the ultimate test. A race with no entry fee, no registration and no prize for finishing, but still one of the most prestigious and hard fought out there. The Tour Divide is an ultra endurance event racing the Great Divide route from Canada to the border of Mexico, or the other way around, you choose. Most riders ride for about 16 hours or more a day and bivouac by the side of the trail. 2,750 miles with 200,000 feet or 61,000 meters of climbing, grizzly bears, mountain lions, it truly is an epic test for the self-supported rider. The record is 13 days, 22 hours and 51 minutes, held by the English endurance legend and sadly passed away, Mike Hall. Crankworx Whistler. Whistler really is Disneyland for mountain bikers and for nine days in August, it hosts Crankworx. The main event is a joyride slope style, the most important event in the world for slope style riders who push the limits every year to try and take the title in front of thousands of spectators. For mere mortals, there are plenty of events if you want to get involved from dual slalom to enduro, pump track, downhill, air downhill on the classic A-line trail with countless jumps, or the Garbanzo downhill with 3,400 feet of drop. There's something for everyone. But save your energy for the Dirt Diaries video night and legendary parties that take place every night. Fortunately, the lifts run until 8 p.m. if you don't get an early start. Now finally, I've lumped a few together here, but let's talk about the enduro stage races, something I think everyone's got to try once. There's things like the Trans-Provence, Andes Pacifico, all sorts of these races. Trans meaning traveling through races have been around for a while. The Trans Rockies race has been taking riders through the epic North American single track of the Rocky Mountains since 2002. What better way to experience the trails of a certain part of the world? In more recent years, the Trans-Provence has shown some of the world's top enduro riders the incredible terrain of the south of France in the Alps Maritime. There are now plenty more of these races like the Trans-Madeira, Trans-BC, Trans-Vesuvienne, Trans-NZ, Trans-Nomad, or the Andes Pacifico, to go against the trans naming. Plenty to entice the cross-country enduro riders that want to experience out-of-the-way trails. And from my experience, I've done the Trans Savoie in France and the Andes Pacifico, normally six or seven really hard days, but really fulfilling days of riding. Right now, that's my top five bucket list events. I'd love to hear what yours are. Let me know about some cool events that I might not even know about, but off the top of my head, there's things like the Yak Attack, Mountain of Hell, or maybe one of those Urban Daniels and Tatsco, pretty cool things. I'd love to maybe try one of those. So let me know your ideas down below. If you want to see some more videos, click over there for a video from Whistler with Blake, and over there for Andy 9 by Numbers, a really cool event as well. Hit the thumbs up if you like doing cool events, and hit that sub button.